Good morning, my name is Keith Early. I'm a certified public accountant. Today I'm going to uh, talk about the reports that are provided with Outsource Accounting. And uh, we'll start off, accounting is the uh, science of taking a large number of transactions, classifying them, and putting them into reports. Now, uh, the reports are different for external and internal users. Uh, external users, outside parties such as investors, lenders, owners that are not directly um, involved in the business, and regulatory agents. Uh, now, the um, external reports are prepared according to a strict set of standards, GAAP, uh, income tax basis, or some other standard. And they generally have disclosures with them. Uh, these are um, explanations of items on the financial statements. And they require some type of certification, um, such as a compilation, review, or an audit by a independent certified public accountant. Um, the internal reports are different. Internal are for management. Uh, they are generally involved with um, specific activities in the business and um, it items that apply to decision makers and uh, involves analysis of certain items uh, or financial statements. Uh, there's no required standards and uh, no disclosure required and there's no uh, independent certification uh, that's required. When I decided to start this firm, I met with uh, different business owners and I talked to them about their accounting needs. I asked them what was it that they wanted from a certified public accountant that they weren't currently getting. And the answers were uh, overwhelming that uh, they needed proactive information that, that they could use to uh, manage their business. And um, they wanted easy to understand data. They wanted it uh, now. They didn't want it uh, six months later with a pile of paper that they uh, couldn't understand. And I took this and I built it into my service delivery model. Today I want to focus on the reports. I want to talk about the reports that are available to subscribers of an outsourced accounting program. The first report is the dashboard. Uh, I have it in front of you. It's the first sheet of paper. Now, I, I printed it out on paper uh, so we could discuss it, but this is uh, generally seen on a computer screen. Uh, the user uh, can see it on the, they can pull it up on their computer, uh, on their smartphone, or on their tablet. Uh, the information is uh, cloud-based, so it's available anytime, anywhere. So if you're um, on vacation in the Bahamas, 2 o'clock in the morning, as long as you have access to the internet, you can uh, pull this information up. Um, if you look, look at the uh, information they have on the left side, uh, it shows the, the accounts, uh, the checking account, the savings account. Also, uh, if there were credit card accounts, they'd be in this column. The uh, total cash in and out uh, shows how much money is coming in and out of the account and uh, it's very useful for the uh, business owner uh, when they're uh, trying to understand cash flow. Look at the uh, right hand column, there's the accounting watch list. Uh, these are um, accounts that have been identified as um, having specific issues and uh, put it on the dashboard so that um, you know, any uh, issues can be quickly identified and also uh, if there appears to be an error what can happen is the uh, user can uh, drill down one of these items and uh, look at the detailed activity. Uh, the next two items are invoices that are uh, owed to you and bills that you need to pay. These um, are, are again useful uh, when the owner or the business uh, user is trying to um, they're trying to uh, determine how much cash flow, how much cash they'll have for the month. Um, the next report is uh, the cash flow report. And uh, I talked to a lot of uh, I talked to a lot of people that say, you know, I'm just not a numbers person, I'm visual. Uh, I look at numbers and uh, it gives me a headache. And I, I want something that I can uh, look at easily and understand. This is it. It's, it's, right here. Uh, it shows the uh, cash that's coming into the business and the cash that's going out. If you uh, look, uh, the green bar is money that's coming in, the red is uh, items you're going out. Uh, green revenue, money coming in, cost of sales, and other expenses, uh, money going out. And this, this goes a little further than the uh, income statement too. It shows um, 
cash inflows and outflows from activities such as accounts payable, uh, changes in uh, liabilities, and also um, any purchases of assets and other um, activities that involve cash. The next report shows key performance indicators. Uh, key performance indicators are measurable items that demonstrate how effectively a company is achieving the business objectives. Uh, it's generally a ratio of two or more numbers that are uh, coming from the financial statements. Um, when we use key performance indicators, we have to identify the goals and the objectives of the entities. And the indicators we select uh, for a law firm might not necessarily be the uh, same indicators that we'd select for a construction firm. Uh, and the process is we have to identify issues, identify objectives. We have to select the uh, performance indicators and uh, measure and analyze. Now, if you look at the uh, report, uh, you can see uh, we've got profitability, activity, efficiency, um, cash flow, gearing. These are all items that we're uh, trying to understand, uh, get a better uh, grasp of understanding for the business. Um, if you see uh, the first column, it names the um, it names the uh, type of uh, indicators that we're using. Uh, alerts, I'll come back to that. The results are uh, the value of the indicator. The target is what we're uh, shooting for. And, and if you look in the far right-hand column, uh, it's the benchmark. It's a, a percentile ranking of how our indicator uh, for this company compares to uh, other companies in the same industry. And uh, back to the alerts, the second column from the left, uh, if uh, the indicator is uh, not where we want it to be, if it's showing a problem, we get a red dot, we get a, a red light indicating this a problem, and uh, we can devote more attention to that. The next uh, report is profitability. Uh, this is very important. Uh, it shows uh, what business needs to do to make money. This report shows revenue, shows variable cost, and fixed cost. And uh, this is important when a company is trying to determine how much money they're going to make. They're making enough money or they're bringing enough revenue in to cover their expenses. And uh, if you see the uh, first dot on the graph, uh, the first one from the left is a break even point. And uh, it shows the amount of money that a company needs to bring in in revenue to break even. Everything after that, um, they start making profit. Okay, I don't just set up these reports and go. Um, I meet with the client, I talk about what their objectives are, what the objectives of the business are. Uh, I look at the type of business that they have, and we design the report specifically for uh, e each business. Uh, we identify what type of problems might be happening. Um, we m figure out a way to measure it. We set goals and we start to monitor it. Now, the last report that you have is the alerts. And uh, this isn't a report that goes out to the individual businesses. It's one that I, as the uh, CPA, somebody that's managing, uh, managing uh, different accounts, uh, uses. And if you look in the left-hand column, it shows different companies. These are different clients. And uh, across the top, you see uh, different indicators. And what I can do is I can look at this report and I can see very quickly uh, any uh, errors, any uh, alerts that my clients have in what area. This uh, signals me to um, that there's a problem and I look at financials and I uh, talk to the client and see what we can do to resolve it. Okay, thanks for joining me today. I hope that uh, this information has provided some insight into the uh, reports that are available for uh, subscribers to an outsourced accounting product. And uh, if you have any questions, you can reach me through my website at www.kaecpa.com.